Shalom, shalom. This is Stoaju coming in with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all the praises and glory and double honors to to Yahweh, Bashem, Melashah, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders, Apostle Gray Millstone, pushing his word truthfully, faithfully, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim that's got through the four corners of the globe, pushing his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shalom unto the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truly, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say shalom unto y'all. And the title of this lesson is going to be <laughs> So Much Soul for uh, Everything Being Back to Normal. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden discretion come upon them as travail upon a woman with a child. And they shall not escape, right? So, you know, with these uh, recent uh, incidents been going on, you know, these latest events of, of these uh, incidents that's been going on in Babylon, you know, for this past few weeks, you know, having uh, a 12 year old and a 14 year old going around. Uh, they was they left out their uh, little f uh, foster care home. I guess it was a 14 year old had a rifle, start dumping at the law. You know, and a 12 year old kid as well, to a male and a 14 year old female. You know, they was dumping at the law. You know, so you know, <laughs> hey, this is these are the times, signs of the times that we are living in. You know, it's gonna continue to increase. You know, it's like everybody wants things to get back to normal. Once you take your little vaccine waters and all that, etc. You know, we took our vaccine waters and everything like that. You know, we were prepared for our concerts. We were prepared for our live events. You know, we just want everything to be back to normal. You know, it's, it's showing signs of progression and everything like that. <laughs> but little do they know. Even if he is trying to make everything, things to go back to normal. And then you've been seeing the increased rise of violence, you know. Even if it's within your own nation or outside of your own nation. Just like the scripture says, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, pestilence, you know, wars and rumors of wars. Uprise of the people, you know, with protesters around the world. You know, crime increasingly going up when it's getting warmer outside. You know, uh, people, some people ain't got that uh, <laughs> uh, normal stability in their mind. You know, you got people out here that's mentally disabled, bugging out. And then you got a lot of people that are just trying to live it up, no care in the world what's going on around them. You know, not taking heed to what's going on around them. No wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They only got the wisdom of this world. So, you know, that's what it says right here. And I'm going to bring out another scripture. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on the earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. So, you know, King Yahavashah. Which is who you ignorantly call Jesus Jesus Christ, which is his true name, Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew. You know, he come not to send peace on earth. You know, he's coming with a sword. And then just like the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase that uh, you know, the uh, the most high, which is Yahweh, is the true heavenly father's name, you know. He's gonna uh come with a visit, you know, visit this earth, this place that he created. You know, because this earth is his footstool. You know, he's visiting this place with earthquakes, hurricanes, floodings, you know, with plagues, continual increasing plagues, continual increase of crime. You know, you're going to see that in these latter days. And you're going to continue increasingly see that as well, too. And I'm going to go back to First uh, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. And it reads, King James Version Bible through the Holy Scriptures. And it reads in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as a travail upon a woman with a child, 
and they should not escape. You know, there's no way he's gonna escape this judgment. Because you know, the most high sin, he sent evil spirits for people to do group crazy things. Because you know, the most high, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he controls both. You know, because he's the creator of all everything. He controls everything, you know. He controls things on the left-hand side, and he controls things on the right-hand side. You know, the most high has he control of everything. And that's why you see seeing all these things. Because, and you still got prophecies are coming to pass as well, too. You know. You know, you got uh, stuff still going on over there in the, in the Middle East. You know, still got stuff going on around in the world as well, too. Not just only here in the modern day Babylon, you know, in the Western Hemisphere. So, you know, to let you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in. And you're going to continue to see increasingly signs of the times of more things uh, about to come. You know, these are not my words of what I'm saying. You know, I'm just not saying it out of nowhere. You know, these come from the words of the Heavenly Father through these holy scriptures. And these and these and these scriptures are speaking are speaking loud, high volumely, you know. And you saying these prophecies are coming to pass. And as you continue to see more increasingly prophecies are coming to pass as well too. You know, that's why these are uh, the times that we are living in. That's why, you know, uh, we thank that the Most High for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and continuing to fight to be in this truth faithfully, strongly, truthfully, and sincerely. You know, we thank the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, just like in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6 says. Wisdom knowledge should be the stability of thy time. You know, we're gonna have that sound mind, you know, and a balanced, stable mind mentally. You know, definitely mentally in these last days, definitely gonna have that mentally. Because you know, you're gonna see a lot of things that just catch you off guard. You'll be like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, early in this, uh, video when I first started, you know, these are the signs of the times that we are living in, and so much so for being back to normal, it never was no normalcy, even in this plan, pandemic, <laughs> even when it first came, it was not normal, you know, talking about getting back to normalcy, you know, getting back to normalcy, yes, it might look like it might get back to normalcy as certain progressions, in progress of getting back to normal. Hey, when, like I mentioned before, for this past week or, week or two or so, you've been having crimes, incidents going on through throughout Babylon. You know, people's on their jobs, they bugging out, they getting depressed because you know, <laughs> uh, they getting depressed because uh, on the job, you know. And stuff like that, you know. People are going to these concerts and stuff like that, thinking they from have a joy, they the a good joy of, of their life and live it up, you know. Especially men, women, and children, you know. Sometimes you know people that's in this world just don't have a care in the world. They only know what's going on, and until until they catch you off guard, you know, you be looking crazy and stuff like that so you know it's best to to know your surroundings and be aware of things but you know jake in the world say you know oh i can't worry about those things i gotta live it up you know i gotta you know live it like it's my last because life is short but you know hey it's a it's good to know your surroundings and know your awareness you know it's just it's more than about just you know trying to live it up, trying to live your best life and all that, you know, after you get through hard days of work, you know, you want to have a little vacations, 
Hey, even if you have your vacations and everything like right, you still got to worry about your surroundings. Because these are the times that we are living in. You know, we're living in a high capacity of signs of the times that we're living in. With a cursory, violence going to be increased. Wars and rumors of wars are definitely going to increase. Nations should rise against nation increase. And definitely these wars and rumors of wars. You know, with these other nations showing off against each other, you know. You know, and, and with these uh, nations uh, the going against each other, it might look like it might quiet down a little bit, but it is, trust me, it's going to intensify right back again. And then these nations, especially here in the Babylon, you know, tensions are definitely going to stir up over here as well, too, and around the whole world. You know, that's how, you know, because the most high, he's slow to anger. You know, because the most high, like I mentioned before, uh, you know, he's the control of everything. But, hey, the most high, he's going to flip that switch again. And he's going to do more uproars of the people. More protests, you know. I kind of expect to see more protests in the summer. In the days to come, the days and the months to come. During this summertime and around the world as well, too. You're going to continue to see more of uh, <clears throat> people's of these nations going against their, going against the system here in the system in, in Babylon as well, too. You know, more increased violence and, and increasing because it's not going to be peace on this earth, you know. Because most high created the vision, you know. Even if he did create a vision, you're going to have high tensions of people within their own race against their family members. You know, you're going to see all of that. And it, around your circle, you're going to see that outside of your circle, you know. A high tensions of continuing wars and rumors of wars, you know. You're going to see more speculations of that. You know, more signs of that. You're going to see more signs in the heavens. You're going to see more chariot sightings. As the men of the Lord prophesied. Against modern day Mop, Sierra. You know. Against modern day Babylon. Prophesied in the wind. Even if people are here off a beer. You know, it doesn't matter. Because these words are definitely coming to pass. You know, this is a very serious thing. You know, because these are, are the times that we are approaching. And prophecies are going quick. And it's going to continue to go quick as well, too. You know, it's going to be a serious thing, you know. And it's a serious thing that the times we are living in. So, like I mentioned before, and I'm going to say it again. You know, you have to be aware of things. With a sound mind and an able body, you know, uh, 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 remain, you know, remain of uh, having a, a, st uh, uh, a balance, stability mind, because, you know, anybody can take off and go crazy anywhere, you know around your surroundings, your inner circle, outside of your outside of your inner circle, you know? So these are the highly times that we are living in. You know, it's gonna heavily continue to increase. Increase, increase. As you see, you know, more stories of talking about be back with the normalcy. There's not gonna be no normalcy, especially here in modern day Babylon, you know? Yeah. Oh no, just something thing right here. Just something thing right here. Oh. Yeah. I'll be right back out. So you know Salakia or that. So that lets you know these are the signs of the times that we are living in. And it's going to continue to, to increase more and more and more. You know, 
So with that, I just want to bring out this edifying lesson through the spirit of Baal Yahweh Bashem Elishai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and double honors to the Yahweh Bashem Elishai Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders of Bashem Great Millstone, preaching his word swiftly, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Shalom unto the Akin. Then be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until then, I will say Shalom.